Hey, how's it going back for some more Street Fighter Alpha 2, I see. And, uh, due to my brief hiatus from playing this game, I decided to go for a character I have not yet played in any of my videos, so I go with Akuma. And why did I wait so long to play Akuma? Why did I play Akuma? I have not played Akuma yet. And he's one of my favorite characters. I don't know why I didn't play him sooner. Well, actually, because any time I was doing the videos in the past, I would record and play whoever I was uh, playing in the v previous video, or who fo who I fought against in the previous video. Like, you know, for example, I played as Chun-Li, and let's say I fought Ryu as the first person in the, uh, her playthrough. Well, then I played as Ryu on my next playthrough. And so on and so forth, and all that good stuff. Alright, so something I've been starting to do in the last video, um... Fighting style, nameless assassination style, powered by the surge of murderous intent. Uh, he dislikes weaklings. Anyone who interferes with his training, go tetsu for not embracing this set. To no hado to his fullest extent. Weaklings is the no one worth fighting. That's probably a completely horrible accent. That got my vocal cords all fuzzy doing his voice that I tried to do. But yes, he is uh, one of my favorite characters. He's awesome. And let's see. Akuma, or Demon Devil, in Japan. Jap Japanese. Known in Japan as Goki. Goki, Great Devil, Great Demon, or Great Ogre. Is a popular fighter as well as popular villain in the Street Fighter series as well as the Udon comics. He's known as the Supreme Master of the Fist. Originally appearing in Street Fighter 2 Turbo as a secret character and hidden boss, he's Goken's younger brother and Ryu's adoptive uncle. Akuma is voiced by Tomomichi Nishimura in all of Capcom's 2D games, but in Street Fighter 4 and Marvel vs. Capcom 3, he is voiced by Teke Tora. I hope I pronounced those names correctly. Oh, there we go. Decent uh, little uh, fight. I did, I finished him with his special move stuff. No, stay down! I think I'm doing horrible voice acting for them tonight, but... My voice is always horrible when I'm sitting here laying in bed recording these fucking Let's Plays. And I don't really like how my voice sounds when I'm laying here in bed. It doesn't really come out how I would, you know, prefer to think of how awesome my voice would sound. If I were just sitting in it, like when I sit in a chair and shit, I sound, I have a better voice, I have a better talking voice rather than the name, being blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Akuma, Goki, usually wears a black G, or a G, but varies in the series, occasionally displayed as blue in artwork. He has red hair, sharp, pointed teeth, and is barefooted, but in some games he also wore brown sandals. He has a tan skin and crimson eyes, and wears his diseased master Gotetsu's prayer beads around his neck with a visible black ten kanji on the center bead in some video games. He was seen with a black belt around on his gi, but is now replaced by a tightened rope on his gi. On the back of his gi, he has a red kanji ten. That means heaven. 
can be seen on his back when it appears going during certain wind poses. He is, he is an inch taller than Ryu. Akuma is a seemingly brutal, angry, quite honorable, and proud warrior who enjoys training and has contempt for true weakling. He is rarely seen smiling and enjoys fighting formidable warriors such as Ryu and Gen. This is boring. Yeah. He is okay. Uh, he also hates it when somebody actually interferes with his training. Ken is next, and he's going down. He's also quite serious in fighting and enjoys getting stronger. In his conversations with many fighters, he tends to talk about their fists and his own. He truly hates Gokin for not using their fighting style that is intended to be used and hates them even more for sealing off that, the Satsui no Hado in Ryu. Due to giving his, up his compassion, he treats the opponents he considers unworthy harshly. He is also quite independent and prefers to fight by himself. Moral Code Akuma fights only to test his strength. Become more powerful and test his opponent's strength. This means that he will only fight opponents that will provide a challenge, hence his refusal to fight unworthy challengers under any circumstance. Akuma will only kill opponents who are as strong as he, stronger than him, or who he finds worth killing. Which is why he stopped his fight with Gen after re realizing that he was ill and dying. While Akuma attacked his brother and teacher, he did so in the confines of the Code of the Warrior where the true battle does not distinguish between friend and foe. Akuma believes he committed no transgression whatsoever. Also, with the exception of Gokin Gotetsu, Akuma usually only fights those who challenge him instead of just picking fights. Although a common game mechanic is to allow players to fight him when certain conditions are met, implying that the fighter the player is using is strong enough to pose a challenge to Akuma. Oh.